Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, guys, let's jump right into this tutorial. For this, I'm going to be using scrunchies to section off my hair. And then I'm going to use some clips to further section off my hair once I break it down into smaller sections. Um, drop the clips, pick them back up. And then next, I'm going to be using detangling tools of your choice. I actually am really fond of this, like tangle teaser thing like it detangles my hair like a dream um i will be using the lco method so my liquid is water mixed with the cream of nature straight from eden leave-in conditioner i will be using the cantrue natural um, moisturizing curl activator as my cream and then i will be using the carol's daughter honey the mosa hair honey as my oil um, and I will be using these little hair cuffs, you know, the things that people wear on their dreads and they um box braids and stuff like that to make them look all cute and stuff. I'll be using that. I'm going to be using my faithful toothbrush and eco styler gel for my edges and let's get started. So right here I have freshly co-washed and well not co-washed, washed and conditioned hair. Um, I made the mistake of letting it like completely dry before I started doing this but I had class y'all so I'm gonna start breaking it into four sections um and it doesn't even have to be perfect I just get the hair into the four sections as best I can and then once you section that off that's basically where we're gonna start doing our twists so I'm just gonna take one section out I'm going to generously spray it with my water leave-in conditioner mix just to really get the hair damp and you know like get everything more moldable and workable get it saturated in the hair so once I get that incorporated into my hair I'm going to start sectioning off for my twists um I don't for me, I prefer smaller twists just because they um, tend to stay neater for a longer period of time. And with the kinkiness of my hair, they tend to um, they tend to not unravel as much if I do smaller twists. So I figured that's a decent size section for my twist. I pin the rest of my hair up and then I start in with the rest of my moisturizing and sealing method. I will be starting off with a little bit of my Cantu moisturizer and I will get that thoroughly coated on each strand of hair. And some people, they just like to moisturize and seal each large section, but I just like to go through and just do each small section because I feel like my hair stays moisturized for a longer period of time. And in the time that it takes me to moisturize my hair, it'll probably be already dry by the time I finish the whole section. So I just go through each small section and just keep repeatedly doing this whole um section I just twist my hair all the way down now I don't know if you can tell by the way that I'm twisting I am also like smoothing the hair as I twist and it creates this like spiral twist where when I take the hair down is like the strands are twisted around each other that also helps your twist from unraveling so it's basically that is all I'm doing and I just do that all over my head And if you feel like, you know, your ends, they need to be um, detangled a little bit more, then, you know, just grab a comb and just rake through the ends um, as you twist because you want to keep the hair as smooth as possible for the twist. And finally, guys, like you don't understand, it's 630 in the morning in this video. Yes, I like threw on some little makeup or something because I just wanted to like pull the whole look together. But like, y'all, I'm like dead tired right now. It's ridiculous. So when I moisturize and sell my hair, I use a generous amount of the oil on my ends just because I want to make sure that those are kind of coated really well and protected as much as possible. And that is like it for this style, guys. Um yeah it took me forever i didn't realize how much hair i had 
if you actually subscribe to my channel and watch my videos, you know that I usually have my hair in cornrows and I wear wigs most of the time. So when I took my hair and I saw this growth, which in part I want to, you know, recommend, you know, my DIY grow out oil. If you go back and, you know, subscribe to my channel, check that video out because like my hair got longer and thicker. Like it was ridiculous. I was like, where did all this hair come from? So that's basically it guys and then now i was just like mm, space out looking at tv and then i'm gonna try and get these um hair cuffs in my hair and i didn't have any particular design i was just like let me put them in here randomly where people will be able to see them no matter what angle my head is at whether my hair is shaking or not and you know just random put them in there random and that's it guys you could stop right here um but if you know this is where you want to end it just go ahead and click out the video you ain't got to stay for the rest of it um yes i was like yes i'm feeling myself finally finished um this is the outcome. i feel like the hair cuffs really do add a little bit something extra um to it so that's why i really enjoy like using them for this style and um that's it um now for this next section guys make sure you have your handy dandy toothbrush and whatever gel you know you use on your hair because next we are about to slick our edges down um to get my twists out of the way because they're kind of like framing my face i just put on this little headband and pull it back and i'm fairly consistent with my edges um I usually do this uh it's it's a, it's a um it's a two step method where I uh take my brush and then I'll um put gel all over my edges. As you can see I'm doing here uh it looks like I'm putting on a lot here and for that first part I did put a lot but for the rest of it I was very sparing with the gel. You don't want to use too much of it. I personally have not had issues with eco styler flaking or anything. Um, but I know everyone's hair is different so I brush it with the um, brush and then I use my finger to kind of mold it into the shape I want and if it's not in the shape I'll go back and rebrush it and kind of mold it with my finger and I go for this wavy pattern now right here is where my hair like has this natural part where my baby hair go different directions so I usually just start going the other direction right there and I just keep that pattern all the way down, guys. Um, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will have a whole long string of natural hair videos coming up, guys. I have missed my hair so much. So get prepared to see a lot more natural hair videos from me. Guys, I will see you in my next video.